you've been following along on all my demos, chapter by chapter by chapter, you know what's coming up next. We are at the end of chapter six, so now you get to impress me. Now you get to prove to me you really understand the process of layering and building up a character. Build them by body parts. So to prove to me that you really got the hang of this, you're going to go to File and Open. I've started an Illustrator file for you. On my desktop, I'm going to go in and find my Chapter 6, and it says Draw One Scooby. I'm going to click on this file, and again, Draw Only One. So when I open that, I've given you four examples to draw from. You pick the pose that you want. They're all pretty similar, um, but you get to pick which one you want to draw, and there's your color reference. Okay? So what I'm going to do is unlock the template scans. Actually, I'm going to unlock both of those. I'm going to take my black arrow, and let's say I wanted to draw this one. Okay, with my black arrow, I click on the scan and delete it. Click and delete or backspace on your PC. Click and delete. Now I go to the artboard tool. Click, delete the artboard. Click, delete the artboard. Click, delete the artboard. Now with my black arrow, I can just slide this color reference next to the one I want to draw. Space bar for the hand tool. And I lock those and I'm ready to start. So just to remind you, I'm going to zoom in real close. Real, real close. You don't have to do the thicks and thins on this guy, okay? Draw him like Tweety Bird. I don't need to see a line that goes from thin to thick to thin. That's just too much. Okay, just draw them like Tweety Bird. Keep your lines, your interior simple. Do a bold outline at the end. If you forget how to do that, go back and review the way I did it with tre uh, Tweety Bird. Because now you're going to do it with Scooby. Okay, so if I had to start this character, I would start with a brand new layer. Double click. And we'll call that nose. D for default colors. Click on the fill because he doesn't have a white nose. Hit the question mark key. And I'll zoom in one or two more times. Really work on my details. Here's my pen tool. I'm going to click and drag down. Come around that sharp turn. Click and drag up. Right up here. Before a sharp turn. Come around that sharp turn right there, right across the top. Before the next sharp turn, come around that sharp turn and back to the start. I'm not ending on a corner, so I'm not going to hold my Option or Alt key. I just click and drag and end that. Select with your black arrow. And now when I zoom out, Option or Alt click with the zoom tool. Space bar for the hand tool. I can take my eyedropper, shift click, and I sample the same color. Once a layer is done, lock it. Okay, his face obviously comes out from behind the nose. So what I would do is just start under the nose, do another brand new layer. And you can call that eyeballs, or you can call that upper face, whatever you want, or just head. Okay, You would draw around the outer edges, then you draw your lines, your wrinkles. Draw around the outer edge, then you would draw your lines or wrinkles, just like we did on Tweety Bird. Okay, So just to show you one other idea here is the idea of sampling color. Again, you're going to sample color right off of this guy. So I'm going to just call this one tail. That's the only other thing I'm going to draw. The rest of the challenge is up to you. I'm going to zoom in on his tail right here really quick. D for default colors. 
click on the white, hit the question mark key. And what I would do is just stick to the inner edge of the curve. Remember on Tweety Bird, we drew on the inner edge and then we made a bold outline later. So on the tail, it overlaps. It comes out from behind this leg. So I would overlap. One that goes up, two that goes up, three on the side. There's one, there's two, there's three. This is also one for a sharp turn, two for a sharp turn, three for a sharp turn. This is also simultaneously one for the next curve, parallel points, two for that long curve, parallel points, three for that long curve. And then I'll come all the way back in, click and drag back to the start. If I see a weird bump there, I take my white arrow, click, and I'll just pull these little direction lines apart right here. They kind of got twisted. So let's pull that out, maybe move that anchor point back up a little bit. That looks a little better. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna take my black arrow and select. Take my eyedropper and just click. Just, uh, well, let's keep the black outline. Shift click. There we go. If you want, you can draw Scooby with a slightly thicker outline, like right up here, like we did on Tweety Bird. I made it two on the stroke. I always click the two middle points. So you get round, softer looking lines. So that's what his tail would look like, a two-point stroke. Remember, after you have done all your shapes, okay, all your shapes, in order to do the bold outline, you're going to select everything, click and drag, and after you start to drag, you hold Shift and Option or Alt key for a copy. Once you have all the shapes, the whole body, like we did with Tweety Bird, you go to Object and you group them. Okay? Your bold outline needs to come out from behind the character, which means below. So I go to my scan. I create one final layer right here. I can double click and I will call that bold outline. Remember, your character, when you grouped it, came up near the top. You have to pull that back down. Put it on the bold outline layer. Just like we did with Tweety Bird. I'm not making anything new. I click and drag. Now I hold my shift key and I put that tail right behind the original. Or as close as I can get come right up here and I make the stroke thicker and thicker and thicker like that. Here's what I would have. A thin outline tail sitting right on top, a bold outline. This thinner one sits right on top like that. And that's what gives you that bold graphic look. If you forget, go back and check out toward the end of the Tweety Bird demo again. You are going to create one of these Scooby-Doo's using all the things I've taught you now. So now is your test. Now is the time to impress me. I know you can do this because we're this far advanced in uh, Illustrator. I think you got the hang of this. Now you just have to prove it to me. <laughs> all right. I'll see you next time and I look forward to seeing what you come up with.